Hey girls, it's Jamie for our weekly video during our restful days challenge for 2021. I was trying to be a good girl and I deleted Facebook off of my phone for the weekend just to take a little break and now I'm realizing ah, I wanted it to go live here right now. So I'm pre-recording this and I hope it works out okay. But I'm getting ready to print my restful days planner which last year we called the Mindset Journal. This year, we're gonna to try to call it the Restful Days Planner um, because the whole goal of it is to have more rest in your days. So how about that name? I wanna show you real quick how I do this. I'm getting ready to go into the office store and have it uh, photocopied and bound, spiral bound. And I just wanna show you real quick the steps because I have the before and after right now. So I thought it would be a great time. So. Um, the link that I gave you guys, I've got my hand holding this up, uh, so I only have one hand, but the link that I give you guys has four sheets. One is the cover, and you can put your name on it, and it says it's 2021. Two pages are just how I use the planner. You can print or not use those. And then the third, the fourth page is the actual weekly sheets that you would want 52 of those bound if you wanna turn this into a planner. If you wanna go easy, you can just like print these 52, staple them, or you can just print one and uh, use it as a dry erase, like slip it in a sheet protector and just dry erase it each week because one sheet is for a week. So that's why you would want 52. Um, what I like to do is just print those four sheets that I link you guys to in Google Docs and then I go in to the office store and I ask them to put the cover on with a, oh, doing this one handed is not easy, with a plastic cover sheet. So there's a little plastic cover sheet over this to kind of protect it. And then a thick piece of cardstock on the back. I could do a laminated sheet on the back, but this worked really well last year. It's just a they gave me a thick piece of cardstock. And then I asked them to copy the weekly sheets 52 times in color so it's a better quality and they can do it on a nice um, a smooth paper where I feel like my copy paper is not the nicest and I'm sort of a paper snob. So I have them photocopy it 52 times and just put it all together for me with a white spiral bind. Um, last year, I wanna say it cost about $15 for them to do that. So, you know, that runs about the cost of um, an inexpensive planner. But um, if you prefer to just print them yourself and staple them or take them in, have them photocopy them for you, um, staple them, you know, that would be less cost. So I kind of did it all out just to see how pricey this can get. And last year, that's about how much. So I was happy with that. I thought that was about spot on for what I would expect as being a planner nerd. So I'm going to run in, I'm going to do this and I will have the finished product to show you guys. Um, I'm going to do a little giveaway. If you print or put together your planner, however, you can also do, um, some people did binders last year. So you could just print the 52 weeks and hole punch them and put them in a binder too. You can put them in your allergy binder if you wanted to. So however you do it, if you put it together and show us your final product, um, you'll be entered to win a giveaway here for this weekend in membership. So I'll give you more details on that, but we always like to um, encourage you to take that step to, to um, accomplishing something exciting. So um, we don't wanna just talk about it. I wanted to do the challenge with it this year so that you baby stepped into um, the the steps and the value in simplifying your days, uh, your top to-do list, your a small to-do, daily to-do list, a five minute self-care each day, uh, dinner plans, and just a weekly theme and some reflection at the end of the week. I loved it. I did it all last year in 2020. It was, it was really um, instrumental in having more rest in a crazy year. So I hope I can get this video transferred onto Facebook for you guys and I'll get my finished product and I will give you guys the next steps, but um, you'll want to get yours figured out and enter to win our giveaway that we're gonna have. I am gonna tell you the prize and all that stuff in, in the text. So hope you guys are having a great weekend and let's have a restful 2021 together. I'm excited for give you this tool to help you do that. So we'll talk to you soon. I'll
Have a great weekend. Bye.